Today, we're talking about the all new 2025 Mustang, and this is exactly how you should order that vehicle. And this video is gonna be very detailed. We're gonna go through every single option, every single trim, and we're gonna cover it all from start to end. Now, this video will be very detailed, and I'll leave some time cards down below, so that way you can skip around to the part that you want to see if you wanna do that. I will tell you, though, that a lot of this information will build on previous information, so it's probably important that you watch the video all the way through. So first off, let's talk about the trim levels that are available. This part has not changed from 2024 from 2025 so it's all going to be the same you have the ecoboost the ecoboost premium you have the gt the gt premium the dark horse and something we're not going to jump into in full detail is the mustang gtd not going to cover that in this video because that's a completely different animal and by the way i know ford motor company you're watching this video right now hit your boy up we still want to buy a mustang gtd yep please just consider us. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about uh, some of the changes from 24 to 25, some of the most notable differences. So you got a few new colors. You've got Molten Magenta Metallic Triple M. I like that. I like that. And then you've also got a new old color called Wimbledon White. And if you remember, this is one of those old school colors that they had way back in the day, wasn't the 64, 65 era type of a Mustang. And then they also had it in the 2015 Mustang with a limited edition Mustang. More on that a little bit later in this video. But there's a few colors that have been deleted. You've got Atlas Blue, you've got Rapid Red, which I cannot believe they got rid of Rapid Red. I guess the Molten Magenta is gonna take care of that. But uh, anyways, Yellow Splash is also gone. Dark Matter Gray is also gone. A few other notable changes, you've got the climate control is now going to be dual zone climate control, now standard equipment on every single one of these Mustangs, period, end of paragraph. You also get a new B&O audio system that's going to be optional on EcoBoost Premium and GT Premium. Just keep in mind that that's going to require Copilot Assist Plus, which is on the 200A and the 400A equipment groups. One thing that I was reading as I was going through this ordering guide, Ford is telling me that the wireless charging on the Mustang is now gone. So your, your cell phone, the wireless charging on your cell phone, they're saying that that's deleted. Hopefully that means that they've repackaged it and they just haven't deleted it altogether, but time will tell very, very shortly. Also, the EcoBoost 2.3 liter high output, the high performance package, it's gone now for 2025. So that's just kind of important to know. A couple of other things that are important to note, convertible is still an option, thank goodness. That's nice to have that little extra flexibility. So as far as the what the availability, the fastback and convertible, let's talk about that. On the EcoBoost, non-premium, so just the basic EcoBoost, you have a fastback and a convertible. Keep in mind the convertible is only available on the higher trimmed EcoBoost base model. That sounds really confusing. I realize that. Uh, <laughs> but standard equipment, you're going to get a fastback and you can upgrade to a convertible if you select the right options. That's the way you want to look at it. And by the way, the exact same thing is going to be true for the EcoBoost Premium. You can get a fastback and a convertible. So that's nice to know. The GT is going to be fastback only, but the GT Premium will be fastback and convertible. Uh, and then the Dark Horse is going to be fastback and fastback alone. So now let's talk about what comes standard equipment on the EcoBoost. Now I'm going to go through this in detail on the EcoBoost because I might not be going through it in detail later on in the video when we get to the GT or the GT Premium. So just bear with me as I go through the nitty gritty, the details that sets the foundation for this video. So mechanically speaking, what are the standard equipment options that you get? Obviously, you get a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine that is turbocharged. That's the reason it can make a little bit more horsepower. Uh, unfortunately, that engine comes with start-stop technology. The auto start-stop, you come to a, a stoplight, the car will automatically shut off to save on emissions of allegedly and then when you let your foot off the brake it resumes now the system actually works really good it's just most people hate it um so keep that in mind you have a 315 locking limited slip rear differential electronic parking brake and what's really cool is even on the base model you get line lock and if you don't know what that is that's where the front tires will lock themselves up with the brakes allow the back tires to spin automatically. It's a burnout mode in a Mustang four cylinder. That's kind of fun. But in addition to the engine, you also got some, you got, that sounded really weird. <laughs> 
In addition to that, you have a few selectable drive modes. In addition to that, you also have a 10 speed automatic transmission, standard equipment on the EcoBoost. EcoBoost no longer offers a four cylinder with the manual transmission. So you can get a manual in other vehicles in this Mustang, but not in this trim level, not in the EcoBoost. You actually have to step up to the GT to get that. But that 10 speed automatic transmission, if you're familiar with the Ford Lingo, it's gonna be a 10 R80 transmission. So let's jump into the exterior and see what you get there as standard equipment. Convertible, if you opt for that, if you step up to that, that convertible comes automatically standard equipment with a center latch, meaning that you have that one latch that you lock and unlock it. And it's nice, you, you know, back in the old days, you had one on either side to lock it down. My Bronco soft top, it's got a latch on either side. It's kind of nice that the Mustang has got one center latch. I think I already mentioned it, but I do want to mention it again. The convertible is not available on the basic version, the 100A equipment group. And I'm going to cover equipment groups here in just a second, so hang tight. But everything that I'm mentioning on this EcoBoost base model is a 100A equipment group. Other standard equipment that you get, easy fuel capless fuel filler system. You have a dual bright exhaust system. You have a black molded in color grill. Uh, hood struts are kind of nice to see where you pop the hood and they hold themselves up instead of having a hood prop. It's kind of nice. Uh, LED headlamps. You have LED tail lamps with sequential turn signals. Unfortunately, there is no spare tire from the factory standard equipment. It actually comes with a tire inflator kit and a sealant kit. So just kind of know that, that you might want to upgrade to that as an option. Uh, depending on how the vehicle is equipped. Uh, but the basic version of the EcoBoost comes with the 235-50ZR18 black sidewall all-season tire. And the wheels are gonna be 18 inches tall and eight inches wide. And it's a machined face aluminum wheel and it's got some black center pockets that are painted up. But moving on into the interior, you still have a massive 12.4 inch LCD instrument cluster. And that's gonna allow you to change the gauges which is really, really nice. Dual zone automatic climate control is also standard equipment, as I kind of already mentioned to you. You've got floor mats in the first row. It's kind of fun to note that on the Mustang, you don't get floor mats for the back row, so kind of keep that in mind. You've got a glove box with a lockable door, which is nice to know, because if you want to leave your windows down at a car show, you can actually lock that glove box and not worry about people taking stuff out of it. Uh, in addition to that, you've also got a leather wrapped gear shift knob. So on the automatic transmission, it's kind of nice to set your hand right there. Power door locks. I know that kind of sounds crazy that I'm even mentioning this in 2024, about a 2025 model. But yes, door locks are power standard across the board. Does anybody make any manual locking doors anymore? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Push the button. It looks like you're pushing the keyhole. That is a stupid design. And your instructions were very unclear. But as far as the seats are concerned, these seats are going to be cloth all the way around uh, in the front and the rear. And you also get six way manual driver seat, which means it can go forward, back, up, down, and then tilt forward and back. I think that's six. Uh, the, the passenger side actually has a four-way manual seat, which means it can slide forward, slide back, and it can tilt forward, tilt back. So I don't I, just, I think the difference is it doesn't go up and down. The steering wheel is gonna be a flat bottom steering wheel. And on that, it's gonna be vinyl wrapped and it's gonna have audio controls. And you also have your cruise control buttons on that steering wheel. And keep in mind that steering wheel is gonna be telescoping. It goes up, down, and, and also goes forward and back. Uh, so it's nice, you can kind of get in that perfect situation, that perfect location for the steering wheel, if you will. Advanced track, roll stability control. It's a stay safety feature that keeps you from running off the road. It basically has got sensors all on the vehicle and it makes sure that you're not gonna you know, flip or all that kind of stuff. It's electronic safety things. Uh, but moving on with the, the safety, there are airbags everywhere in this car. I'm gonna try and name a few of them if, if I can. Uh, you've got a driver knee airbag. You have a driver and a passenger side impact airbag. Uh, you have a dual front airbag. Uh, you've got a glove box door integrated knee airbag. Uh, you've got a driver and passenger head side airbag if you have the convertible, but if you have the fastback, you actually get the side curtain airbags, the full blown side curtain airbags. It's kind of hard, hard to put a side curtain airbag when there's actually no roof over your head. So kind of keep that in mind. 
tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS. You also have uh, latch is a system inside the Mustang, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think that stands for lower anchors and tethers for children, something like that. It basically is a fancy way to set up and latch in your car seat if you've got young ones at the house. So keep that in mind. LED projector headlamps with daytime running lamps, standard equipment, it's kind of nice. Side rear view mirrors, the side mirrors, the ones on the outside are gonna be body colored and even the glass inside those mirrors are gonna be power. Now, they're gonna be manually folding, so you'll have to pull them in if you need to pull them in, but it is nice that you can power adjust those mirrors while you're driving down the road. A personal safety system also comes standard. Uh, so you get a driver and a front passenger, uh, seat belt pre pretensioners, uh, you've got uh, load limiting retractors. You even have a driver seating position system. So it can tell how close you're sitting to the steering wheel. It, so if you're, if you're like my wife and when you're driving, you like to eat the steering wheel because you're that close to it, <laughs> it will lessen the severity of that airbag. And in addition to that, the car's got crash severity sensing in there as well. So it will also lower everything, you know, get everything right if the accident is not as bad. There's no reason to have everything go off all at one time at full load if it's a tiny little fender bender. That's kind of crazy, right? SOS post crash alert system. That is one that most people have not heard of. Uh, it works like this. You get in an accident and typically what happens is if you get in a bad accident and you get knocked out or you're not paying attention, the car might accidentally keep rolling and causing another accident. So that SOS post crash alert system does a lot of different things, but one of them is it, it actually clamps the brakes after the accident is complete. And so that way you don't cause another accident just by rolling off into the ditch, if you will. The other thing that it does is it, it sounds the alarm, the bonk, bonk, bonk. So if you ran off into a ditch at night in the middle of nowhere, uh, at least people that are passing by will see the horn and the lights and everything's flashing and trying to get other people's attention. It's a safety feature. Let's talk about the Ford Copilot 360 technology. Now, if you've not watched any of my videos before, you will know that my opinion, because we are a Ford dealership, and by the way, if you're getting any value out of this video, there's two ways that you can help us out. Number one, hit that like button. That is the most important thing, and I appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel while you're at it. But the other thing that could really help us out is we are honoring invoice pricing on every one of these Mustangs, with one exception, the Dark Horse. But on all of these Mustangs, everything that I'm talking about in this video, except for the Dark Horse, you can get invoice pricing uh, automatically. Just give us a call. The phone number's right there on the screen. Uh, just make sure you mention this video and you will get automatic invoice pricing. Uh, but if you've watched any of our YouTube videos before, you'll know that I love Ford Copilot 360. I hate the name. Let me say that again. The technology is awesome. The naming scheme is about as confusing as the day is long. <laughs> so, so if I get the naming of it a little bit off, cause there's like Ford Copilot 360, Ford Copilot 360 Assist, Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus, Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. Like it's just, what? So, and every one of those is a little bit different. So let me tell you what this car comes with standard instead of just relying on the naming. First off, you get automatic high beams. So you're driving down the road, it's late at night, someone's driving, coming up on you. It will take those high beams and bring them down to the normal beams. Then once there's no one in front of you, it goes right back to the high beams. It's really nice. Blind spot information system. They, these are radar sensors that are located in the backside of the vehicle that's looking for people in your blind spot. Okay. In addition to that, it also works for cross traffic alerts. So if you're backing up out of that parking spot and you have somebody that's crossing you, it can tell if there's cross traffic and it will alert you so that way you don't back in and you know, back out and get T-boned. So that's kind of nice. You even have a rear traffic indicator, which is an exit warning, meaning that if you're parallel parking or whatever on the on the, this busy road and you're about to get out of the car and that sensor picks up a car that's coming on, it will warn you, hey dummy, you might not want to get out because your door's going to get taken clean off. <laughs> so it's nice that Ford has got that feature for you as well. A couple of other things that are included in this version of Ford Copilot 360, lane keeping system. So you, with that system, you have quite a few different things. Lane keeping assist, lane keeping alert. You even have a driver alert and you have a road departure warning. What in the world did I just say? Uh, basically the car will actually help you stay in the lane. So if you 
start to get drowsy and you run off the road, that lane keeping assist will ping you back into the middle of the lane. That's kind of nice. It's not intended to be like a driver. Uh, it's not like automated driving or, or auto, what are, what are, oh, automated driving. My brain's fried if you can't tell. Uh, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not intended to be autonomous driving but it is designed to help keep you from running off the road if you get drowsy and you make a little oopsie. So uh, in addition to that, you also have that lane keeping alert. Uh, so, so the assist will actually assist you back in the lane. The lane keeping alert will alert you, hey, hey, dude, you are, you're about to run off the road. And so if you like one and don't like the other, you can choose which one you want or you can have both of them on there. Uh, the driver alert is actually looking at the lines in the road. And if you're all over the road, the car will actually recommend, hey, bro, you might, might need to take a rest. Pull over, get some coffee, get some sleep, whatever you need to do. Uh, so that's all also very, very nice. Forward collision warning with dynamic brake support. Um, this is a part of the pre-collision assist. Uh, and it's also got the automatic emergency braking, even pedestrian detection. So a lot of really cool technology using cameras and sensors and all of this kind of stuff to make sure that you can hopefully avoid a collision altogether. And if you can't avoid it, hopefully that at least will minimize the risk with that dynamic brake support. Uh, but uh, we've already kind of talked about this. I'm going to breeze past this. The post-impact braking, that is a part of that feature that we mentioned earlier. You get in an accident, it clamps the brakes so you don't roll on and cause another accident. Uh, backup camera, I think that's a standard equipment feature on every new vehicle because of laws in the United States. But let me know if I'm wrong. Please let me know down in the comments. Rain sensing wipers. That's self-explanatory, right? And then also your backup parking sensors. All of that is included in that Ford Copilot 360. So I told you, it's a lot of stuff. Now let's talk about functional standard equipment. If you opted for the convertible standard equipment, you get active noise cancellation. There's microphones and speakers inside the vehicle that will automatically figure out what kind of noise is being made inside the vehicle. And the car will actually create the, ac the exact opposite wavelength to try and cancel out whatever noises the soft top is creating inside the vehicle. Pretty wild technology. As far as the audio systems, and we're kind of talking about that, you get a six speaker setup and you even have AM FM radio. It's kind of neat to know that Ford is still keeping the AM FM radio because I think some other manufacturers were getting rid of the AM radio. E-Pass stands for electronic power assisted steering. Uh, and it also has selectable effort. So basically what's boiled down to is when you turn, you're actually, it's all electron. It's not a hydraulic, steering pump it's an electronic power assisted steering instead uh, but what's cool about that is it gives you the ability to select what kind of effort you want on that steering wheel if you want a comfortable ride with that steering wheel you can select comfort or if you want a sport mode yeah you can make it a lot more like you know firm in that feel of the steering wheel so that's kind of nice all right ford pass connect this is a really really cool feature it's one of my favorite things about all the ford vehicles that i've owned in a recent time uh, because it comes with a lot of cool things. You get a hotspot, that's not really that usable to me, but if you've got a bunch of kids in the car and they need a hotspot, you can use the car as a hotspot. I just use my phone as a hotspot. But what I really do like about it is even though this vehicle does not have remote start on the key fob, it has it through Ford Pass Connect. So you simply go into your Ford Pass Connect app and I'll actually pull mine up so you can see it as well. Uh, but you can actually pull up the app itself and uh, as you can see, you basically just hit this slide to turn the vehicle on. And guess what? It cranks the car for you, even though you technically don't have remote start. How sweet is that? I love that feature because it also comes with the ability to schedule remote start. So let's say you park your Mustang outside and it's cold where you live and you want it to be warm by the time you get to the car every morning. You just can't remember to hop on the app. You can set pre-schedule to say, okay, Monday through Friday, I know I leave at work at seven o'clock. So I, you know, I want to start the car up every single morning at 6.45. There you go. You don't even have to think about it. It automatically cranks it up for you. So that's kind of nice. Now, in addition to the scheduling, you even have the ability to lock and unlock the vehicle. You even have the ability to locate exactly where that vehicle is parked if you happen to have forgotten it. It's kind of nice if you're spying on your spouse intelligent access with push button start. Basically you walk up to the vehicle and you stick your hand in the door handle 
if the key's on your person, the truck or the car will actually unlock automatically for you. You hop in the car, you put your foot on the brake and press the button and the vehicle's running. It's that simple. Uh, let's move on to Sync System. They've got a brand new Sync 4.0 QNX system. This one has got a 13.2 inch center screen and I love it because it, it, it just, it looks very premium. When you mix that in with the digital instrument cluster and this big old entertainment system in the middle, it really does look nice. Uh, but in addition to just looking nice, you've got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, which is awesome because Chevrolet does not have that on the 2025 Camaro. Oh, wait, they got, they got rid of the Camaro, didn't they? Again. <laughs> Yes, I'm digging on you, Chevy. But anyways, let's move on to my favorite last feature is that you also get track apps in this vehicle. Because you get track apps, you get things like zero to 60 time, braking time, you get turning, G-forces, lots of really, really cool information built into that instrument cluster. It's really nice that Ford gives us that ability as well. Now, everything that I just went through is everything that you get on the standard package for the Mustang EcoBoost. And that standard package is what Ford calls their 100A equipment group. An equipment group is nothing but just like a whole bunch of options that Ford packages together and they say, all right, this is this, is this particular equipment group. And, uh, and it, so if you step up, not from a 100A equipment group, which is what we just covered, and you step up to a 101A equipment group, that's called the high package. And if you do that, you get a few extra options. You get a nine speaker stereo system. You get a six way power driver seat. You get heated front seats. You also pick up Sirius XM radio, which is their new 360L. Uh, I don't exactly know what that is, but it's fancy and it's new, so why not? <laughs> and then you also get HD radio. If you don't know what that is, you're probably not ever gonna use it. Moving on to freestanding packages and options. So we've talked about the equipment group, or we talked about the standard equipment, and we talked about the optional equipment group, but even then you have the ability to add packages on and options on these particular equipment groups. And so, Let's talk about what those are on the base version of the EcoBoost Mustang. First off, wheel and stripe package. I think this is the best bang for the buck because it comes with a really nice machined 19 inch wheel. Uh, they're aluminum wheels. You have a nice hood stripe and you have a nice side stripe. It's inexpensive and it makes it look really good. If you wanna take it a step further with the overall appearance, you can step up to the Mustang Night Pony package. And when you do that, you get 19 inch ebony painted paint black wheels. Uh, you have blacked out emblems, blacked out mirror caps, deck lid spoilers blacked out. You even get a painted black roof, and you also have some headlights that have got some black bezels on it. Basically, it just murders the car out and looks really nice. Other options that you have at your disposal, the 19 inch premium polished wheel, that is an option. In addition, you can opt for a mini spare wheel and tire. Please keep in mind that this spare tire and wheel replaces the inflator and the sealant kit that comes as standard equipment. You don't get both. Uh, but please understand that a normal Mustang does not come with a spare wheel and tire unless you select that option. Active valve performance exhaust system. Not so sure why anybody would want this on a four cylinder because this four cylinder is a tried and true engine. It's a great engine, zero concerns with it but it doesn't sound the best when you compare that to something like a V8. So I'm just trying to understand why people would want to hear a louder version of a four cylinder engine. But if that is your jam, have at it, it's an option. Over the top racing stripe is available. And for the first time available, you have a matte clear film, paint protection film over the entire car is available across all of the different Mustangs. This is a Ford installed option. How stinking sweet is that? Uh, you also could do a spoiler delete option if you wanted to. You've got some premium floor liners you can opt for. Uh, and there is a ton of DIOs that are available to you. And I just realized you probably don't know what a DIO is because I'm over here using language like <laughs> in the business jargon. A DIO is a dealer installed option. 
meaning that you order it from the factory with this option, but Ford's not gonna be the one to install it. Uh, the part gets shipped to your local dealer, the same dealer that you're getting the car from, and that dealer is responsible for installing it for you. Now let's take a look at the EcoBoost Premium. This is going to be a 200A equipment group because as we've already established, all of these Mustangs are gonna have some kind of an equipment group to it. And this will help you understand hopefully <laughs> a little bit better, all of the different options that are available in this particular package. So when you do the 200A equipment group, the EcoBoost Premium, it comes with every single EcoBoost option that was standard equipment originally, plus what I'm about to cover. So for the exterior, you get an approach detection uh, that's got welcome and farewell exterior lighting. That sounds really fancy, but basically what matters is when you start walking up to the car, the lights on the headlights start to dance and it looks really premium. It looks nice. Um, and so that's kind of a, uh, it's one of my favorite features if you were into the bougie stuff like I am. In addition to that, you get a blade deck lid spoiler that is going to be painted to match the rest of the vehicle. Aluminum footwell pedals. You've got an ambient lighting system with my color. That is so cool because you can turn the lights on in this vehicle where the floorboard is illuminated with the exact color that you want. So that way you can have this ambient light in the interior of the vehicle match your clothes. That is a pretty sick little setup. This next option is going to be standard equipment as well, and that is going to be a magnesium framed curve glass display. Basically the instrument cluster and the center stack are all connected with one giant piece of curved glass and the frame is actually made out of magnesium. I don't know what's so special about magnesium, but it sounds fancy. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> And you also get a premium door trim on the vehicle as well. Just basically the whole inside of the vehicle looks a lot nicer. Now the seats are going to be confusing to a lot of people if you don't watch this video. It's gonna be made out of something called Active X. This is a vegan alternative to leather. And if I didn't tell you it wasn't leather, you probably would assume that it's leather all the way through for the rest of your life. Um, because it is a very good substitute. It doesn't look like a cheap vinyl and it, you know, you're not having to pay through the nose for the leather. It is a great seating system. You definitely, if you're considering it and just like, I don't know, you need to go lay your hands on a vehicle that has ActiveX because Ford does ActiveX very, very well. But in addition to that, the driver's seat is going to be a six way power seat. So forward, back, up, down, tilt, forward, tilt, back, that kind of thing. And the passenger is gonna be power as well, but it's only gonna be a four way passenger seat. Now keep in mind that both of the front seats are gonna be climate controlled. So ventilated and heated seats. In addition to that, when you open the door on this vehicle at night, there's gonna be a nice pony puddle lamp that illuminates on the ground and it looks very premium. Um, if you go with the convertible package, you also get a security package on this vehicle, which covers a lot of different things. I'm going to cover a little bit later in the video. The audio system is also upgraded on the premium. So you get the nine speaker stereo system, uh, the Sirius satellite radio uh, with the HD radio as well. This is what's really cool though. And this is, I don't know why people have not considered this doing, or manufacturers haven't considered doing this for a while. And that is going to be a USB that is gonna be high mounted right there in the rear view mirror. So now you can plug in your radar detector or you can plug in your dash cam directly into a port, a USB port located right there by the mirror. And lastly, for this section, you also get remote start on the key fob. Once again, you automatically have it on the Ford Pass Connect app. So that's kind of nice, but now you finally have it on the actual button itself. So that's the 200A equipment group. But what happens if you step up to the 201A equipment group? What do you get? Well, first off, you're gonna get, and here we go with the naming scheme again, <laughs> Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus. Uh, now keep in mind, this is still an option for 200A, but it is going to be standard equipment on the 201A. And what do you get with that? What is the big increase? Because once again, I can't even understand the naming scheme of it, but I understand what the technology on side of it is. So number one, you get adaptive cruise control. And it, you know, because we're talking about an EcoBoost, it's automatically an automatic. And so you get stop and go. So while you're driving, if there's a car that comes to a complete stop in front of you, the car can slow down to a complete stop. Lane centering. Basically, all you have to do is keep your hands on the steering wheel, 
but the car's gonna do the steering for you. How nice is that? Intelligent speed assist, lane keeping system, driver alerts, road detection, blind spot information system, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, evasive steering assist, connected navigation, so many different things built into that Ford Copilot 360 assist plus, I think that's the name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's talk about some other things that you get. You, when you step up to this 201A, you get the Premier Trim with Color Accent Group. Basically what that means is you're gonna get accent stitching in the center console. Uh, you're gonna get a wrapped knee bolster. So what, when you're you know, relaxing your right knee when you're driving the vehicle, you've got that nice, soft, bolstered part on that center console. Uh, it's just a lot nicer interior all the way around. Color accents everywhere, uh, upgraded leather wrap steering wheel, uh, instrument panel with accent stitching, just a lot of different upgrades. But in addition to that, you also get memory seating. So if you and your spouse are constantly arguing, you left the seat in my disposition, you just tap the button and it goes back to exactly where you wanted everything. In addition to that, you also get the universal garage door opener which I've actually got in my Bronco. I have never used it, but basically you can program the vehicle to use the garage door opener. So that way you don't have to actually keep the garage door opener in your vehicle. I like the ability to remove it and I don't like programming it to the vehicle, but that's just me. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Now let's talk about the freestanding packages and options that you can select on the EcoBoost Premium. So number one, wheel and stripe package. We've already covered that. Mustang Knight Pony Package, already covered that. One we haven't covered, this is pretty sweet. Bronze Appearance Package, I love this package. I think it looks very good depending on the color you select. That's a big depending, right? Because if you pick the wrong color, it don't look so good. Uh, but number one, what comes in that package, you get the 19 inch Sinister Bronze painted wheels and you also have front and rear pony badges that are painted that same Sinister Bronze color. Uh, it looks amazing. I think it's the right, there's a wrong color for, for bronze and there's a right color for bronze and Ford, I think nailed that, that color. Uh, you also have the option to go with a B&O audio system, which has got 12 speakers and even a subwoofer in the trunk to give you a little thump in the trunk. <laughs> Anyways, uh, other options, 20 inch premium painted wheels. You've got a 19 inch polished option if you want. Uh, we've already talked about the mini spare wheel and tire, active valve exhaust system, a spoiler delete. I'm trying to go through this a little bit fast so that way you're, I'm not boring you, but premium floor liners, over the top racing stripes, and then that matte clear film that we've already talked about. So now let's talk about the Mustang GT. This is where you get that 5.0 for show. Uh, so the GT is going to be standard with a 300A equipment group. And when you go with the GT, it includes all of the EcoBoost standard equipment, plus what I'm fixing to cover with you. Keep in mind, this is all the EcoBoost standard equipment, not the EcoBoost premium standard equipment. So everything that that includes, plus for the mechanical side, you get a 3.55 limited slip rear differential. This is where most people buy the GT, and that's because of the 5.0 twin independent variable cam timing V8 Coyote with port fuel direct injection and automatic start stop. Fantastic engine. Fantastic engine. Yeah, tried and true. Ford, please don't ever stop building it. In addition to the engine, you've also got a nice upgraded engine cover, whereas the EcoBoost doesn't have that. You have a larger brake rotors. You even get four piston fixed calipers. The transmission, this is interesting. The transmission on the GT comes standard with a manual transmission. Hashtag save the manuals. <laughs> uh, and that manual transmission even has rev matching. If you don't know what that is, basically what happens is if you're downshifting and you don't know exactly what kind of RPMs you need to be at, the car will tell you by automatically revving to that RPM. That rev matching is straight up a cheat code for the road. Uh, anyways, let's talk a little bit more about that transmission and what do you get? That transmission is an M2, M2. That transmission is an MT82 D4 transmission. It has a dual mass flywheel and a twin disc clutch. So it, it is beefed up. Now it's not as good as the Tremec transmission that I'm gonna talk about later in this video, but it's a lot better than what it was in the previous generation of the Mustang. Moving on to the exterior, what do you get over the EcoBoost in the previous version? So 5.0 fender badges on the sides. 
let everybody know you got that 5.0 for show. You, you also get some GT specific dual exhaust systems. It's a 3.5 inch exhaust system. Uh, you've got GT specific rear appliques, uh, the, you know, the badging back there. Uh, you even have hood vents on the front a body colored wedge deck lid spoiler. Uh, the tires are 255-45 VR 18 inch tires. Uh, you also have some upgraded and different unique front fascias. And above that, you even have a high gloss black painted grill. The wheels themselves are gonna be 18 inches tall and eight and a half inches wide. It's an ebony black painted wheel. It's kind of nice that they're giving that to us as standard equipment instead of some weird looking wheel. It's not bad for a base model Mustang GT. Moving to the interior, let's talk about the instrument cluster. 12.4 LCD digital instrument cluster. You can change the gauges while you're driving down the road. Pretty sick little setup. Flat bottom steering wheel. It's going to be leather wrapped. Uh, it's not heated, unfortunately, but that's coming. Uh, the seats themselves are going to be cloth and they are manual adjusting. You've got six-way manual adjusting for the driver and four-way for the passenger. Moving to the safety and security, not much to talk about, but you do pick up the auto-dimming frameless rearview mirror that is inside the vehicle. So that's nice. Functionally, you have an electronic sound enhancement. What? The, the 5.0 sounds good by itself. Why? I mean, I haven't heard it. Hopefully, it's something you don't notice, but why? It's a 5.0. It's a V8. Let them pipes sing. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. Uh, <laughs> so everything I just mentioned, that is included in that 300A equipment group. What happens if you step up to the 301A equipment group? What do you get? Nine speaker stereo system, ambient lighting system. So all the interior can have that cool look and it has the my color. You can change the color to whatever you want to. Now the seats are still going to be cloth, but you do get a six way power driver's seat, which is nice. And you also get heated front seats. Uh, you also pick up Sirius satellite radio with 360L and that HD radio. So now that we've covered what's in those two equipment groups, let's step into exactly what you get for the freestanding packages and options. This is a brand new one, the GT Performance Package. Well, it's not new for 25, it's new for this video. Uh, the GT Performance Package comes with a laundry list of options. And at the end of the day, uh, it just basically helps to put the power to the ground. I'm gonna go through this fast right now, so that way I don't have to cover it later. But the wheels are gonna be a staggered set of wheels. They're 19 by nine in the front and 19 by nine and a half in the rear. They're carbonized gray, painted aluminum wheels. Uh, they're nice, it's a nice upgrade, I like it. The tires themselves are gonna be 255 40s in the front and 275 40 19s in the rear. Keep in mind, these tires are summer only. So if you live up north and you need a non-summer tire, you're going to have to buy another set of wheels and tires to have a summer set and a winter set if you're going to be driving this thing in the winter. Uh, as far as the Brembo brakes are concerned, that's right, you get Brembos. Uh, and keep in mind, this is going to have performance linings and uh, the calipers themselves are going to be black with a white logo uh, on the actual caliper itself. You'll have the ability to upgrade the colors if you want to later on. I'm going to cover that here in just a second. We got, we got to stay on task. <laughs> so uh, you also get an electronic hand-operated parking brake, where in the past, it was just a switch. You would switch it on, switch it off. But the reason you want the hand-operated version is because it also comes with the drift brake. Yes, that is right. My buddy, Vaughn Gittin Jr., was a part of the whole development process of that drift brake. And yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's sick that Ford is giving us the ability to drift your car straight off of the showroom. Anyways, uh, moving on with the whole performance theme, you also get front tow hooks. So that way, if you're at the track, you can actually tow the vehicle around the track and get it to where you need to go. Uh, the grill is gonna be ebony painted black grill. The springs are gonna be in the front, are gonna be heavier duty to support extra weight uh, and to also help with the cornering. Uh, you also have a K brace on the vehicle underneath it, which helps to stiffen that chassis. Is it chassis or chassis? Uh, you know, so that way you don't want the body to be flexing because if the body's flexing, the suspension is not able to do what it needs to do. And so that's what that K brace is for. Another part of this GT performance package, you have a raised rear wing that's going to be painted body color. You even have moving back to underneath the hood. I know I'm all over the place. Moving back to underneath the hood, you even have a strut tower brace that's going to work on top. So that way you have the, the strut tower brace up top and the K brace underneath, it keeps it really nice and stiff. 
<laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, <laughs> also, depending on whether you go with manual or automatic, you're gonna get a torsion differential no matter what. It just depends on if you're getting a manual, you get a 373 axle. Uh, if you're going with the automatic, you're gonna get a 355 axle. Uh, in addition to that, the GT Performance Pack has got some very specific, unique chassis tuning, uh, stability control, electronic power assisted steering, ABS tuning. Uh, even the sway bar in the rear is going to be upsized to allow for more um, rigidity while you're taking those hard corners. Uh, and lastly, kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense because this whole package is about performance. You also get an accent stated center console. Who knew? <laughs> All right, the next one is the Mustang Night Pony Package. We've already covered that. I'm not going to do it again, um, but yeah, that's an option. 19-inch Premier Polished Wheels, 19-inch Staggered Wheels, which, by the way, is requires a GT Performance Package, and then you basically can upgrade the wheels on the GT Performance Package, so that's kind of nice. We talked a little bit earlier about the Brembo brakes and how it comes with the black with white logos on those rotors. Well you have the ability to go with a version that allows for red painted calipers or blue painted calipers. It's kind of sick that Ford gives us the ability to tweak that from the factory and you don't have to bust out the spray can just to get a nice looking brake caliper that matches your setup. Uh, in addition to the color theme, you also have a red seat belt that's available. Who knew? Mini spare wheel and tire, we've already covered that. That is also an a la carte option on the Mustang GT, which by the way, I don't think that that is compatible with the GT performance pack. You might want to fact check me on that one, but it, it is just something to note that if you want the mini spare wheel and tire, you have to option for it. It will not just automatically come on your car. 355 limited slip rear axle is also an option, but it does require the automatic transmission and it's not available with the GT Performance Package because um, you're going to get that torsion differential if you go to the GT Performance Package. Spoiler Delete is also an option and also Over the Top Racing Stripe is also an option as well as the Matte Clear Paint Protection Film that covers the entire vehicle that we've already talked about in every single one of these vehicles so far in this video. So moving on to the GT Premium. The GT Premium is going to start out life with a 400A equipment group. And so that means you're going to get all the Mustang GT standard equipment that we covered earlier, plus what I'm about to tell you. Exterior, you have the approach detection with that welcome and farewell lighting where the lights do all that fun, fun little funky little dance. Looks good. Love it. Uh, you also get 19 inch shadow silver painted wheels. Interior, you get ambient lighting, my color heated steering wheel, magnesium framed curved glass display for that instrument cluster and that center stack, premium door trims. You have the seats are even upgraded with the six way power driver seat, four way passenger seat, and it's going to be climate controlled leather seats. This is the first time you've seen leather seats in the Mustang throughout this video. Now keep in mind, the fronts are going to be leather. The rear seats actually going to be vinyl. I'm sure that Ford's got that figured out where you can't tell the difference. Uh, but it's just important to note. Moving to safety, a lot of the safety stuff is already kind of standard, but you do pick up body colored mirror caps that are gonna be heated and it comes with that pony puddle lamp. Uh, so that when you open the door, you got that light, the illuminated pony on the floor. As far as functional, you have audio system, nine speakers, Sirius satellite radio, HD radio as well. You have the electronic sound enhancement uh, that we've kind of talked about earlier. I don't know, I'd have to test it myself. Uh, we've got the high mounted mirror USB charging port for that um, a radar detector or that, uh, what you call that thing? Dash cam <laughs> for, the, for the radar detector or the dash cam. So there you go. Uh, if you decide that you wanna step up to the 401A equipment group, you get everything that I just mentioned, plus you get illuminated door sill scuff plates the premier trim with color interior accent group. This is very similar to the upgraded version of the EcoBoost, the, I think the, what is it, 201A equipment group, uh, but you have uh, lots of different things. It's just, I'm just gonna put it on the screen. There's no reason to go over it with you in detail. We've kind of already covered it, uh, but you also get a security package if it wasn't already standard because it was a convertible that you've ordered. So in, what comes in that is the active anti-theft system. You have a locking center console and you also have a wheel lock kit. I see a lot of value in that locking center console because you put your valuables in there, lock the keys, and that center console locks automatically as well. 
Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus is going to get you the adaptive cruise control, intelligent speed assist, predictive speed assist, and if you have an automatic transmission, the, the adaptive cruise control will come to a complete stop and resume again. For obvious reasons, there's a clutch. You can't do that with a manual transmission. So just kind of keep, it'll go almost to the stop, but it won't actually stop and it won't resume because you got the clutch involved. Uh, you pick up lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, you name it, you name it, you name it, you name it. It's right there on the screen. <laughs> That's what you get as well as the memory seating. Moving into the freestanding packages and options for the GT, the premium version, you're going to get the ability to go with that GT performance package that we've already talked about. You have the bronze appearance package, you have the Mustang Night Pony package, and this is a new one for the video, not for 25, but it's a new one, California Special. And I want to warn you, this is gonna sound like I'm absolutely annihilating Ford on this, but the blue accents on that car, I cannot stand them. It's the wrong color blue. And this, this pains me to say, because I'm a California Special lover. I mean, I've been here for 25 years, which shameless plug, we just celebrated our 25th anniversary, had Ford celebrating with us here at the dealership. Um, but I've been around with quite a few different California specials, brand new. I just don't know what they were thinking when they selected that blue accent. So just be, if, if that's your jam, have at it, man, there's power to you. Uh, but I will tell you, there is a brand new package for 25 model year, and that is going to be the 60th anniversary package. And I freaking love this package. Now, from what I can tell, your colors are going to be limited on this vehicle, but you do have some really, really cool accents, some cool wheels, 20 inch bright machine wheels. Me personally, I like it in race red. I think it looks the best in that co color configuration. And uh, when you do this 60th anniversary, you get the anniversary special edition badging. You get a specific unique grill. Uh, you get uh, different headlights with a black bezel. You even get special side stripes and a spoiler delete. To me, if you're not a GT performance package kind of a guy, because these are not stackable, you can't put those two together. If you're like, no, I'm definitely not doing a GT performance package, that would probably be the package that I would go with. Now let's talk about some other standalone options that you can get. And Bang & Olufsen sound system, 12 speakers, and it even comes with a subwoofer in the trunk. 19 inch premier polished wheels are an option. You even have the ability to go with a staggered wheel upgrade for the GT performance package. So that's an option. 20 inch premium painted aluminum wheels are also another option. So a lot of different wheel choices, depending on which trim level you get. Mini spare wheel and tire, once again, spare tires, not gonna be standard equipment on the new Mustang. Magnaride dampening system is going to be an a la carte option, but keep in mind that that does require you to select the GT performance package. And that Magnaride suspension system is not available with the 60th anniversary Mustang. Uh, active valve exhaust system, for me, this is where it makes a lot of sense. The active valve exhaust system is awesome because you can adjust how loud you want it right there from the comfort of your vehicle and um, with the VA, you want to hear what it sounds like. You even have the ability to have quiet starts or loud starts if you are if you love your neighbors or hate them. So that's kind of nice. You can either piss them off or you can respect them, whatever you want to do. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you also have the ability to go with an upgraded red seat belt uh, and you also have upgraded colors for Brembo brakes as well as a spoiler delete. Now let's talk about the big boy freaking dark horse there are so many people that are not properly giving this car the coverage that it deserves but here's the problem uh it's impossible to get uh, no I mean, it's very similar to like a gt350 as far as availability is concerned when they first came out couldn't get them you know they they were selling for way over sticker uh we are a massive ford dealer and ford is estimating that we're going to get a whopping one for the whole year that's the reason that we're not willing to sell it at invoice pricing is because we're getting a whopping one for the whole year 12 months one uh, i'm not mad because i love ford and ford's a partner and my life has changed because of ford and so yes i'm biased but 
this car, the demand is there. Ford, you need to build some more of them. Anyways, I'm gonna get off my high horse and let's talk about the equipment. <laughs> the Dark Horse comes standard with a 600A equipment group and it comes with quite a few different upgrades. Now, the, everything I'm gonna cover in this one, the Dark Horse standard equipment includes everything that was on the 301A equipment group. So not the GT Premium, but the normal GT, not the base model GT, but the step up from the base model. So anyways, let's just, let's just jump in. For mechanically speaking, you get Brembo brakes out the gate, black with white color um, logos on the calipers themselves. And speaking of calipers, you've got a six piston caliper front. Uh, you even have larger rotors to go with that as well. Active valve exhaust system comes automatic uh, on the dark horse and you get black tips to go with that dual air intake, dual throttle body. You automatically get that drift brake that we talked about that Vaughn Gittin Jr. helped co-engineer with Ford. You have the modified Gen 4 Coyote 5.0, four valve, dual overhead cam, electronic fuel injection, naturally aspirated with no automatic start stop. That's what I'm, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is the quintessential naturally aspirated V8. I firmly believe this. Now there's a couple of things that most people don't talk about on the uh, dark horse that I want to put to light. Cause a lot of people just think, oh, it's just, they just gave it a tune and they called it a day. They did not. They actually took the connecting rods from the Predator engine, the GT 500 engine. They put the connecting rods of that motor into this dark horse. It can handle a lot. In addition to that, You've also got revised camshafts that are unique to the dark horse that are not in the normal Mustang GT. So just kind of keep that in mind. So now I'll get off my high horse for the uniqueness of that engine. Basically it can just handle a whole heck of a lot more than what you can throw at it. Uh, but moving on to some other things, uh, coolers. Let's talk about that because the engine is not gonna run right if it doesn't cool itself down right. So there's coolers for just about everything. You have coolers for the engine oil, you have coolers for the transmission temperature, and even the differential. You've got some heavy duty springs up front. Uh, you've got the Magnaride dampening suspension system automatically, enhanced performance calibration, a silver strut tower brace, you get a Tremec six-speed manual transmission with the rev matching. This is where the transmissions, if you're interested in a really, really strong manual transmission, once again, the factory GT, there's nothing wrong with it, but this is a good upgrade. All right, next up, Torsen differential, 373 gears. Uh, it's a limited slip, obviously, uh, but you also pick up some unique chassis tuning, some unique uh, electronic power system steering, uh, analog braking, uh, stability control. Uh, there's a lot of different things on the dark horse. It's not, it's, guys, it's not just like a body kit and a tune. It's, it's a lot more than that. But as far as the exterior is concerned, you even get the upgraded 19 inch staggered wheels, standard equipment. Uh, these wheels are gonna be tarnished, dark painted, low gloss aluminum wheels. So it's it kind of looks like a matte wheel, but it's not exactly matte, it's just low gloss. But what's crazy about these 19 inch wheels is that they are nine and a half inches wide in the front and they're 10 inches wide in the rear. Very, very wide for standard equipment wheel. Now keep in mind, these tires are gonna be summer only and they're staggered, so you can't rotate the tires and you can't drive them below, what is it, 30, 40 degrees, something like that. So if you live in a colder state, highly recommend get an extra set of wheels and tires. Uh, dark horse badging all over the car. Uh, you got a front tow hooks for the track, uh, hood accent stripes, uh, performance rear spoiler. You've got a unique front and rear fascia and you've also got some specific hood vents. Moving to the interior. There is, and I've covered this quite a few different times, but you have a magnesium frame, uh, curved glass display, ambient lighting system, my color, all that kind of stuff, flat bottom steering wheel, but this time it's got suede inserts and it's gonna be heated, obviously. Uh, the dark horse badging is gonna be all over this vehicle, but specifically on the inside, you have a unique chassis number that's going to be put on the passenger side. I mean, this is just like they did on our Ford GT. So that's a pretty sweet little setup. Uh, as far as the seats are concerned, you do get cloth as standard equipment in the dark horse, the bottom version, uh, but it is power. So you've got the six way power driver and the four way power passenger and the seats are gonna be heated out of the get go. Um, as far as the seat belt, this is kind of cool. You have a deep indiglo blue seat belt. 
By the way, this is the right color seat belt if you're asking, comparing this to the California Special, uh, as well as the titanium anodized blue shift knob. Once again, the right color blue. So Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus, not gonna go over that again, please, Lord help me. Bang & Olufsen 12 speaker system, subwoofer from the trunk. You got the high mount USB system. I'm assuming you're watching this video all the way through, so I don't wanna sit here and bore you guys to death with the explanation every single time that it's time to talk about it. If you upgrade to a 700A equipment group, you get upgraded aluminum pedals, an approach detection with the welcome farewell we've talked about already. The lighting kind of dances when you walk up to it. Climate controlled seats, memory seats as well. Universal garage door opener, premier trim with the uh, whole fancy interior. I'm not gonna cover it again, but you get the premier interior upgrade. Um, you've also got the color accented seats, unique color accented door trim, and the security package. Some freestanding packages. This is really where it gets it wild. Dark Horse Handling Package. This is a hard one for Ford to build, or at least it was in the past. They had some supplies and constraints and they couldn't build very many of these handling packages, but it is wild what this thing is capable of. 19 inches tall and in the front, because they're staggered, 10 and a half inches wide in the front. <laughs> 10 and a half inches wide in the front. The rear wheels are 19 by 11. Tarnished dark painted aluminum wheels, supposed to be lighter weight, yada, 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 yada. Uh, but you have a 305 30 R19 in the front and a 315 30 R19 in the rear. Uh, adjustable strut top mounts for the front end and the suspension, uh, front tow hooks, Magnetic ride dampening system, performance aero splitter, which is going to be installed post sale because it's so low to the ground, you can't get the car on and off <laughs> the ramp uh, when they're transporting the vehicle to the dealer. So the dealer has to install that or yourself. Performance rear spoiler with a gurney flap. Gurney flap is also dealer installed. Uh, the revised chassis tuning specifically for that package. In addition to the handling package, you also have the Dark Horse Appearance Package, which comes with a couple of additional blue accents, a painted black roof, unique brake calipers, which are really cool. Notorious blue painted with grabber accents. That looks amazing. The unique hood graphic, Recaro suede sport seats, which by the way, that does reduce the ability to have the climate control because Recaro doesn't have heated and cooled. So something to keep, think about. You also have the matte clear paint protection film all over the car. And this is wild. And I'll pray for you if you want this option because chances are you're not gonna get it. Just, I don't, I don't think I've seen a single one of these cars in the real world, like a real customer have these, but it's a 19 inch carbon fiber wheel. But please know that that requires the Dark Horse handling package. And if you want to order any of these Mustangs, whether it's the Dark Horse, actually I think we're actually sold out of the one Dark Horse that we're getting for the year. But uh, for any of the GT, GT Premium, EcoBoost and the EcoBoost Premium, please give us a call. We're happy to honor invoice pricing on any of those vehicles for you. The phone number's on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through, but I also want to say thank you so much for subscribing to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.